Good afternoon and you join me here at Leicester Railway Station for the first episode in a new mini-series called First Class in 50 Minutes. And today we're going to be travelling on East Midlands Railway to see what their offering is like on a shorter journey. And today we're going to be travelling down to Kettering via a special route, so stay tuned for that. The train's on platform 3, so let's head over and jump on board. So as we will be travelling with East Midlands Railway on an intercity service for today's journey, our train will of course be one of their class 222 Meridian sets, formed of seven carriages with the first class section located at the rear of the train upon departure. And as mentioned earlier, today's trip is the first in a new series, designed to evaluate whether a shorter journey in first class is worth the price. So make sure to watch to the end of the video for the final summary. But for now, as we board the train, let's have a closer look at the interesting route our journey will take. Starting from Leicester, the train reverses to face north up the Midland Main Line before joining onto the old Syston and Peterborough Railway, taking us eastwards through the market towns of Melton Mowbray and Oakham. From here we reach Manton Junction, where we join the Oakham to Kettering Line. Closed in 1965 to passenger traffic and reopened in 2009, this piece of track remains important for freight and is also occasionally used for weekend diversions of the Midland Main Line. And with that being the case today, the usual 20 minute journey is extended to 55 minutes, providing a perfect opportunity for spectacular views from the magnificent Welland Viaduct, which we will see later on. So now we've had a look at today's interesting itinerary, let's have a look at the first class seat. As always, I found the seat in EMR First Class to be extremely comfortable, featuring a large winged headrest, a really good amount of padding, an excellent amount of recline, and a nice leather finish, with each seat also having a personal reading lamp and a standard plug socket. As well as this, upon boarding a menu is placed on each of the spacious tables, with a range of sandwiches, snacks and hot and cold drinks on offer, all of which were very tasty and filling. An impressively quick service was also provided after each station stop, guaranteeing everyone was well fed and watered, a key factor when taking into account the shorter journey times. And soon we are approaching what is undoubtedly the highlight of today's journey, the magnificent Welland or Harringworth Viaduct. Started in 1876, construction took an impressively quick two years to complete, with concrete foundations supporting over 30 million bricks. The 82 arches, each with a span of 12 metres, stretch 1,275 yards over the Welland Valley between Harringworth in Northamptonshire and Seaton in Rutland, with the line itself being relatively sparsely used by passenger traffic nowadays, making the site even more special. Yeah. 
and we have arrived into a very quiet Kettering railway station and to summarise the first part of our journey with East Midlands Railway I have to say it's been absolutely excellent. Service was amazing immediately after departure from Leicester. He came round with drinks and snacks followed a short while later with a tray of sandwiches which were really nice so full marks for East Midlands Railway on comfort, service and value for money of course paying only £5 each to upgrade. So we're just going to wait here at Kettering. Our train arrives in 15 minutes to take us back over Haringworth Viaduct to Leicester. And after admiring the beautiful station architecture of the Midland Railway displayed at Kettering Railway Station, our train was soon arriving into Platform 2 to retrace our steps across the Welland Viaduct back towards Leicester. After soon boarding the train, we were able to take our seats in a bay of four before being promptly served more snacks and refreshments, allowing us to sit back and relax for the remainder of the journey back to Leicester, admiring the stunning views over the Welland Valley from the top of the viaduct. So now that I'm back at Leicester Railway Station after completing that little interesting round trip, it's time to summarise what East Midlands Railway's first class was like on a shorter journey, around 50 minutes in length. And yeah, I would 100% recommend it, especially as we only paid £16.55 each with a rail car discount for an off-peak day return. And in that was included two big sandwiches, two packets of crisps, two shortbreads, a brownie which was really nice, a tea, coffee, apple juice and water. So I would thoroughly recommend it and the service was excellent. They came round immediately after departure from each station. So yeah, I would thoroughly recommend it even on these shorter journeys. So now that we've done it, let's head back to Stamford and I will say goodbye for now. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you enjoyed and like the video and bye for now.